Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with designer Bruno Catala, co-designer of Nagaraja with Theo Rivera, Vincent Dutre, uh, artist, graphic designer for the game. I uh, hope we can learn how to play and uh, talk about its creation. Eh? Okay, how, how we created it? Yes. So first, uh, it's, a, it's a question of friendship. Okay. Because uh, I know Theo Rivière, which is a young designer, but I know Rivière for years. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we met the first time, uh, it was clear that we wanted to, to do something together one day. Okay. Uh, we are both passionated by um, card games, uh, like uh, with um, actions, etc., like uh, Magic. Yes. Or today, Keyforge. Keyforge I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big I fan. I have seen you posting a lot of Keyforge plays. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and we like that kind of game. And when the sparkling idea came, which was using cards and dice to activate cards, immediately uh, it was clear that maybe Tio was the perfect partner to do that. Okay. And we began to work uh, on this uh, on this first prototype. Okay. It took us time because, uh, in fact, during the creation process, many times we had a prototype which worked, which was okay. But at the end, when you have played it one time, three times, four times, do you want to play it again? Well, it's okay. <laughs> you see? Yes. Uh, and we were sure that it was not enough. And we decided not to present it to, uh, to publisher because there are so many games that today making just okay game is not enough. Uh, and the thing we changed our mind is when we um, thought about uh, building a temple of uh, finding the path to go to the treasures, etc. Okay. As soon as we had this sort of uh, a pattern, creating pattern on the board, mm -hmm. it gave us uh, all the tension which was missing in our first game, which was just uh, dice and cards. Okay. Because you use dice and cards to make something different, etc. And it gave the, the first uh, real interaction, the real tension we needed in the game. And this time we wanted to play it again and again and again. Okay. And at the end, the other thing we changed our mind, our, the, the feeling we had with the game, at first it was just collecting points. Right. But during the design we thought that when you get the biggest values, it could be dangerous. Okay. And today in the game, when you get the free uh, cursed relics, which are the best values, you lose immediately. So, uh, <laughs> okay. All right. you That's try good. to rush to the point you need to get the best values, but if you get the free cursed values, you have lost the game. Okay. And this balance the, the feeling of the game, and that the story of the design of this game. Okay, so, interesting. That's then, good. Yes. Then, it was clear to me that I had for this game to work with uh, Hurricane. Okay. Because we have a common story uh, with Mr. Jack, etc. And it was the kind of box which could really fit in what they like to do. And it was also a, a, a way to me to uh, say to Yves, yes, if you want to publish this game, you have to work with us. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Okay. Again. Again. <laughs> because I thought that he was a perfect guy to, to design that. Okay. And now, maybe you can say some words about... Uh, well, yeah. I was going to say, so when you say, talking about working with Vincent, you do you have the picture in your head of how you want the final package to be or some sort of idea and you, uh, you imagine the artist already? Not exactly uh, which which picture I wanted, but the, uh, how to say, the artwork, yes, it was clear to me uh, what I would like on, on, that, uh, on that game. And we know us very well. I know what he can do. Uh, we still work about, uh, for example, Raptor, etc. Yes. And we share, I think, a, a very common vision of what is a game. How a game with these components can tell a story. Okay. And we speak the same language. 
he has knowledge. I, I, I cannot do that, for example. And some, but, but we speak the same language, and he, he knows very well the game. And for me, he was the perfect partner for that. Okay. Okay. So I don't know if you talk about talk about how. So you had the idea of building the paths, but then that has to come into building a world yeah, in which we are building paths. And usually, as you may know, I usually work on a traditional way yes. with pencil, brushes, and paintings on paper. Mm -hmm. And for Nagaraja, we decided it was very clear from the beginning to work for me in a different way. Okay. So it was quite tricky for Hurricane to accept a new game with me without seeing anything before. Because I never work on this way. Okay. So they say, ah, show us something. I say, no, I just start. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> let's try. Let's build. You mean they wanted uh, like a, a preview, a graphic uh, outline? Yeah, Here's sometimes. the world and sketches. So, of what's no, I don't have anything. And uh, even uh, technically, I don't work like this before. Right. So for this game, uh, I, for example, I did all the colors on computer with computer graphics. Okay. Not by by hand on paper, right. so and I missed some drawing something in, in board game also. So I would like to find some kind of style close to comic book mm -hmm. or pulp vintage books or novels like Indiana Jones, Alan Quaterman, etc. Yes. So I work all the graphic with hand only for sketches and I finish all the graphics and colors on computer with a huge work on texture, etc. Okay. For, for the okay. little story, for, for the box cover, yes. one of my friends, another artist, said, oh, it's very nice uh, old paper texture. Could you show it to me? I said, there is 150 texture in this picture, <laughs> not one. <laughs> OK. So you can see, you can recognize yes. uh, the art of Vincent, yes. but not exactly the same as you, as you can see on the other box. And it was exactly what we decided since yeah. the start of, uh, of, uh, of this game. And to open something new, especially yeah. for this game, yes. to, to get another vision, another immersion in the story on a, on a different way as usual. OK. Uh, do you get involved with every component as well, with the dice and this, the, the box inserts? Do you no, involved uh, with everything? I, or? Uh, I was more focused on artwork. Okay. And I work with Stefan Gantier, Stephanie Gantier from Hurricane and the team of Hurricane did a really uh, they did a really good job. Okay. To, so to, to gather make the whole everything package. and finish everything. So we work like a four end or six end uh, all together. It's 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 a teamwork. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so in more detail, do you have uh, just an overview of what we are doing? Yeah. Uh, with the handling uh, handling the cards and the dice to build the path, and yeah. it's a lot of elements coming together, yeah. just like your team building the game. We must build our own own world here, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I was wondering, can you describe how we were using the cards okay. and the dice and the paths and so, putting that all together? In a few words, each, each, uh, on each turn, mm -hmm. people are fighting for the control of a, of a new uh, tile. Okay. okay. First, uh, to, to, to uh, get this tile, you have to get the most destiny points okay. on, on this dice. You have three, three sides of dice, which gives not very a lot of uh, destiny points, but you have nagas. Uh, snakes. Mm -hmm. This one are intermediate dice, and this one gives you a lot of points, but no snakes. No snakes. So yes. at the first, together, at the same time, so we select cards in your hand, just to decide which dice you want to roll. Okay. Okay. We roll, we roll them at the same time, and depending on your um, on your result, then turn by turn you can spend. So you have your destiny points, etc., etc. But turn by turn, you can spend one snake to activate one remaining card in your hand. This time, to activate the special ability, with which, which is the okay. bottom part. You have yes. two parts on the card: yes. upper part to get some points and activate card, and upper uh, bottom part for effect. Okay. And you have four categories of cards. You have cards which affect the result of a dice. You have cards which which affect the, the number of cards you have in your hand. You have cards which can allow you to, for example, to rotate tiles or to move them, etc. And okay. you have cards uh, which allows to move the treasures okay. around the tiles. So it's 
very simple rules, but on your turn, you have to take very simple, but uh, very um, tricky decisions. Okay. Because you want to use the card for that and that, but you have to choose to use it for that or that. So, yes. uh, and this gives the, ten the tension of the game. Okay. The one who wins the, the tile, place it on the board, and if he allows to have the pass to, uh, to a new treasure, he reveals it. Okay. And that, that's a game. And each player is building on their own board? Yes, So ex exactly. Okay. So it's a I race. control here. Okay. It's a race. It has a lot of interaction because uh, many cards allow yourself to, to impact other players. You uh, can turn something, or you can flip, you can move, you can check. Okay. Or yes. to do some aggressive effect also. Okay. To destroy some dice from opponent or something. Yeah. Okay. So lots of back and forth with the tension there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for the overview and, and for the, the graphics here. Thank you. Uh, it's a, it is a beautiful looking box. Thank you. Your style, even though it, it's different, but it's still very recognizable. I try. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Which, which must be ideal, of course. Uh, you want to have your fingerprints that people know what to expect when they hire you. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It works for you, too. Sure. You know what you want when exactly. it comes oh. over here. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Bruno. That's uh, Looking at Nagarasha.